Hello again YouTube, this is Prophet David Howard Jr. with another teaching broadcast for you to prepare you for what's to come in this world. Having a lot of technical difficulties as are a lot of other people. A lot of people are getting their channels suspended. A lot of people are having difficulties producing videos that will tell you the truth about what's to come in this world. Now this is not let me just re-emphasize something. This truth is not for those that will discredit or disregard it or take the scripture and try to misuse it to condone gay marriage or condone some type of sin that they engage in. I've given and I will give one more opportunity for those of you that believe that there is no God. And those of you that are Gnostics or whatever your belief may be. To convert me to make my life better by being like you. Because me personally, I don't believe you could do it. I don't believe for one second that being an atheist or being a Gnostic or being a Muslim or being a Catholic or even being a Christian. Some Christians will be saved based on the mercy of the Most High Yah. But based on truth and research and information and history, all that celebrating those holidays and, and many other things in Christianity are false. And you got to be careful with that. You got to be careful because in these last days, the time is going to come where you're going to have to choose between your life as it is today and your life as it will be throughout all eternity because I'm going to tell you something the underworld, the kingdom of darkness are very clever in the way that they go about to blind the minds of those who believe not to blind the minds of those who can't handle their trials who can't have the persecution they will do everything in their power to kill off everybody that preaches truth to blind the minds of all who are confused and who question things. I hear all the time this dude. Oh I'm supposed to. I, I used to be a Christian. But when such and such, such, such and such happened. I'm not a Christian no more. This person. Oh I used to be. No. The scripture says that when the Antichrist comes. He will if possible blind the minds. And deceive even the very elect. In other words what that's really saying. Is if you are unsure of your salvation. You are going to be a prime candidate of somebody who can get their mind blinded. I would like to title this message, What to Expect in These Last Days. See, first of all, let me start out like this. I don't care if you don't agree with me. I don't care if you don't believe that the Most High has called me. I don't care if you think I'm crazy, you think I am look crazy. Because in the end, we're going to find out who's right, me or you. Me or you. Me or this person. Me or that person. We are all going to taste of this here. And we're all going to find out who's right or wrong. So I, I even numbered the things that's going to take place based on the scripture. Because nothing is more accurate with the scripture. Even with the poisonous children of Cain who changed it. Who, who raided the caves. Who, who intentionally hid and destroyed books that would give the whole entire world the proper understanding. Now you have to code, you have to decode the scripture. You have to find out even with the scripture what was in there, what wasn't in there. Because you can't take the word, you can't take the scripture 100% because corrupt men, in fact, Rupert Murdoch has the copyright to several versions of the scripture. I know one for sure, the NIV. Zonovan Publishing. All these publishers, you can't trust them. You have to do your own personal research. You have to know the Most High for yourself. Because the Most High will show you things. The Bible says that He'll guide you into all truth. Meaning even those things that are not in the scripture. The Most High has shown me things that are not even in the scripture. Of what's to come. And I want to get into some of those things today. 
And I would encourage you to watch this with an open mind or don't watch it at all. If you don't look at my hair, if you don't look at the, the Green Bay Packer poster in the background, if you don't look at any other factor, don't watch. If, you, um, if your mind is made up, that you're going to live the rest of your life in unbelief, rejecting God, don't watch. I don't have time to go back and forth with this name-calling foolishness because I know what I believe and what I believe have been verified through dreams, visions, several publications, several different ways have what I believe been, been authenticated by the Most High. And what I teach is that the doctrine that the Messiah himself originally taught. Moses. And all the rest of the prophets. I teach what they taught. Not this Masonic God is going to bless you doc. Let me tell you something. All hell is getting ready to break loose in this earth. You understand that? You understand? Do you understand that there will be storms? There will be wars? There will be murders? There will be more children coming up missing? There will be more women being raped? There'll be more houses being broken into. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Look on the TV. Look what's, what, look at the program and you tell me that those politi politicians that you are so determined to get in Washington, you tell me based on the programming, based on the, the options in the community, you tell me that these people are not working to destroy the world. You look at everything collectively. Look at what we see on TV. Look at what's available for sale in the stores. Look at all the factors and then you tell me that these politicians, that these celebrities, that, they, that the rich are geared towards making you rich like them. That the rich are geared towards making the world a better place. You tell me based on what we see that that's what they're doing. And if you try to, you a liar. You crazy. You're insane. See, see, education don't make you sane. Wasn't Jerry Sandusky, wasn't he, wasn't he a college graduate? Didn't he work at a college? Yet this man didn't even know that he had a wife at home that he could have sex with. And he chose to have sex with 40 some odd kids. So don't come to me. Trying to act like that college education means so such a much. I'm going to tell you the truth. While you giving all them preachers that money, while you making them rich, I'm going to tell you the truth. And your dumb butt is supporting these guys that's in on your destruction. And by them being in on it, they get a safe place in this new world. Look at the gospel that they teach. You tell me that Joel Osteen is teaching what the Messiah himself taught. You tell me that he's teaching what Peter taught. That he's teach See, that's why they had to get rid of some stuff out of the scripture. Because they knew good and well these dudes like Kenneth Copeland, like TBN, like Joyce Meyer. These dudes like like the other ones. You got you got chaos and division. You got a two party political system. We call ourselves the United States, but every state has its own government. Two-party political system. You got all these religions te teaching different stuff. You got, you got these preachers, half of which won't even tell you the truth about what's to come. Your attitude don't mean nothing. You can have the best attitude in the world. If you ain't prepared for what's going to happen, you're going to die and go to hell. So who you going to listen to? Me or Joe Osteen? Do I have to... You, you, you trust me now? Let me tell you something. If, if, if Azazio, if the devils themselves came in this earth right now, they'd be smiling more than God. More than the Most High Yah. So... Do not trust somebody just because they smile. The pedophile smile when he you gave your kid that candy. Don't trust that. You have to learn how to examine things 100%. Don't just, oh, I trust him. Oh, he got money, so, you know, he must be, he must be blessed. He must be doing something right. Or, 
Oh, I trust him. You know, he seems so nice. That don't mean anything. Let me get into this. Let me get into this. Because I have a lot of material to cover. Again, this is Prophet David Howard Jr. What to expect these last days. Let me tell you something. I know people right now. Right now. That are intentionally and deceptively. They so deceived by the devil. That they on the side and they don't even know it. People at work. People in my family. People in these churches. You on his side and you don't even know it. You on this side. Every good thing somebody say. You can't remember that. But then as soon as they say something. That you don't agree with. You remember it. You remember every little detail of that. I know people that the moment you say something that don't have to do with the Bible, they go running with it. They go running with it. I want you to know that you are an enemy. And if you're the most highest enemy, then you are my enemy. Plain and simple. You for gay marriage, you're the most highest enemy. We're going to get into the scripture. The first thing to expect in these last days and I labeled this the first thing that I wanted to mention Hip a hypocritical hypocritical materialistic church if you go to Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 Yehoshua said I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot I would that thou work cold or hot so then because thou art lukewarm Neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. He said, you don't even taste right. He told you to be the salt of the earth and you ain't preserving. You ain't adding no flavor to the earth. Because you're too much like it. And that's what we need to work on. The most high is merciful. We need to work on that. We need to make sure that when people look at us, they see something different. They see something that is not like all the evil this in the world verse 17 because thou said I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thy eyes with eye soft that thou mayest see I want you to look at verse 19 real carefully because a lot of believers is falling off. They ain't, they ain't praying like they used to. They ain't doing what they used to because they don't understand what he's saying right here in verse 19. Just watch this. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. He's saying, in other words, if, 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 if you got family members right, if you got co-workers, if you got people you know that appear to be prospering, that appear to be flourishing, that appear that nothing as bad is happening to them. All the bad appears to be happening to you. He said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chase. See, if they don't belong to him, he'd be like, okay, I'm going to just let them go. Let them think they're doing so well. He said, I'm going to let them think they're doing so well. And then at the end, I'm going to crush them. And you can believe that. All of you who sent me all those nasty emails telling me I'm dumb and this and that. Because you couldn't prove that there is no God. Believe that. Now. But the first point I want to make, again, if you are a believer, do not take the chastening and rebuking from the Most High as if he does not care or does not love you. Verse 9, 19 of, of Revelation 3, you need to read that. In this end times church, in this end times church, you got to understand something. People are rejecting the Most High. In their pursuit 
for happiness and material possession. That's the deceitfulness of riches. See, riches are good. Riches are fine as long as you keep them in their proper place. When you try to replace the Most High with riches, He's a jealous God. And if He already saved you and you do that, He will going to rebuke you. He's going to chase you. This brings me to my second, second point I want to make. The second thing, the false Messiah will rise up. The false Messiah will rise up. He will claim, and then this this is a prophecy. Remember, I, sh I showed you. And if I'm wrong with this, then correct. When this time comes, if I'm wrong, then correct. Because I know what the Most High has shown me. He showed me some things about this false Messiah. He will claim to have fulfilled Bible prophecy. He's going to claim that the Bible was talking about him. And he's going to claim that he's going to go through all the religions. He's going to know about all the religions in the world. And he's going to claim to be that one. To get all the people of all the religions in the world to come out of their belief. And to fall down and worship him as their one true God. Now. He's going to claim to have secret knowledge like I said of all religions. But in reality he's going to be a devil. Smiling devil. And I know who he is. I know I'm right about who he is. And I'm, I'm just watching. I'm watching. Because I know it's how it's getting ready to happen. The third thing. A dramatic rise in murder and death. You think you're seeing a lot of death now. You ain't seen nothing. What we're seeing right now ain't even going to scratch the surface. People beating each other to death. Stabbing. Shootings. Strangling. See, this is what's going to happen. All of you who I work with. All of you out there, all of you that will watch this, and everybody that you know, this is going to be the end result of all your rejection of the law, the scripture, and the commandments. The scripture don't tell you to do all this nonsense we see. We see this nonsense because of the disobedience towards the Most High. That's why we see it. Now, an ever increasing attitude of disrespect towards the Most High, His law, His commandments, along with the poisonous food, water, medication, chemicals, and laser beams will lead to this type of behavior. It's already in the air. It's already in the air. We breathing it. We eating it. We drinking it. The products of the children of Cain, the children of the wicked ones, are basically slowly killing all of us. They're creating diseases that we can't fight against. That we can't do nothing about. And you, your stupid self, think I'm the enemy. I'm warning you. I'm your friend. I'm not your enemy. The enemy ain't going to tell you what's coming. He going to laugh when it comes and it destroys you. Enemies don't want you to be successful. If you're around anybody, for example, that don't want you to be successful, they only come when you're in the hospital sick. When everything is good, they're not around. That's an enemy. When you confront them for their own good, they don't come around. That's an enemy. Know who your enemies are. You voting for some of them. Now, I want to go to Revelation chapter 6 to show you. In Revelation chapter 6 verse 3 it says, And we had, when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. See, right now there's still a little peace in the earth. But they're going to take even that. And that they should kill one another, and there shall be given unto him a, a great sword. Now I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Were those of us who are black, were our ancestors the original people? I want to show you something. I want to show you. Yes, they were the original Hebrews. The Caucasians were the original Edomites. But I want to show you something. 
The devil is playing both sides. So that we won't come together and fight against the devil. He's playing the blacks against the whites. He's playing the Latinos against this. He, he, he making us all. He got the Latinos. Now they're in opposition towards the whites because of the immigration laws. Then you got the blacks with Trayvon Martin. What happened? What happened in the past? Then you got the whites. All this other stuff. People don't like them because of all the molestation with the priests and Jerry Sandusky and, and all this other stuff. But listen, listen. If we would just come under this universal truth called the way in the scripture. To learn what the way is. To learn the true doctrine of the scripture. And come out of all the other religions. Because they are false and created to keep us divided. Other than the way. The most high Yah is the only God. All the other gods are created. No disrespect to you. But it is what it is. And if you have any questions about your particular belief. Send me a message with an open mind. And I will gladly show you. I will gladly show you. So I, do, I don't do nothing but study the religions of the world. That's what I do. That's my job. So, I will gladly show you. Okay. Now, the fourth thing. Hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. You fight us and all that stuff. I done warned you on other, other um, broadcasts. You find us and all that stuff is going to come back to get you. What you should be doing is preparing yourself. Start buying little things that you could use in these times to come for your family. Pay off your debt and just hold on to as much of your money as you can. Don't compete. Don't be trying to buy bigger houses. Buy this, buy that. Yeah, if you want to buy multiple houses... Just so you can have multiple places to go when this chaos begins to happen, I can understand that. But don't do it just because you want to look, you want to show how wealthy you are. You need to be saving your money yourself. Forget these banks, you can't trust them. Can't trust them. Don't put all your money in those banks and don't put all your money in that stock market. Know that the hyperinflation is coming. And it's gonna hit all of us who don't belong to their groups. That's who's going to hurt. Whether you're black, Latino, white. Forget that. What's a race? It's a competition. We shouldn't be in competition. We should be working together. So when I look at you and when you look at me, you shouldn't be looking at what color I am and think you know me. Think you know me. If you ain't been around me extensively, you don't know me. Throw out your stereotypes and I'm going to throw out mine. And yeah, we shouldn't. We should be on guard towards everybody for the sake of our kids. But know this, a race is nothing more than a competition. And in the end, the true race is the top 1% gets the bottom 99. It's the secret society against all the rest of us. It's the children of Cain, children of the lawless ones against all the rest of us. That's, that's the conflict. Not black against white. See, it's in your mind. Let me tell you, let me, let me help you out. Let me help you out. If you want to hang blacks, if you're white and you want to kill blacks, the devil has gotten in your head. You're not a believer. You're not going to heaven. You're not, not, none of that. You need to deal with that. If you're black and you want to kill white people, you need to deal with that. Because that's not the plan of the Most High. If you read the book of Revelation, it talks about the multitude from every nation that's going to make an end. And you need to make sure that you and your family is, is, is amongst those that were mentioned in that revelation. Which brings me back to hyperinflation. Intentional destruction to the, to the crops. Intentional destruction to the earth by the children of the fallen ones will lead to problems on farms with the crops. A loaf of bread will be $10 or more. That's what we're looking at. We ain't going to even be able to pay these electric bills. I was just explaining to my young son that he needs to balance out his life and he needs to learn what's, the, what's more important in life. He needs to learn how to follow the Most High because the day is coming where ain't nobody going to even be able to have electricity to play these video games. So if your life is based on just playing video games and seeing what you can get materially, you're in trouble. 
hyperinflation. Like I said, a loaf of bread would be ten dollars. And the politicians that most of y'all trust, again, they ain't gonna do nothing for you. But they ain't building underground cities for themselves in Denver. Look it up. Look it up. Oh, vote for such and such. Vote for such and such. What they should be saying is, I'm a devil. And I belong to this secret group right here. But just be honest. And you vote for me, I'm going to destroy you in this way. I'm, I, maybe I'm making a little joke. But if they was honest, that's what they'd say. Which brings me to the fifth thing. 1.7 billion people will be killed from, listen up, all of you false prophets on TV, rich boys, you tell a good story, you're good speakers, but you ain't talking about this here, so I don't watch you, and stop sending me emails, because I'm not going to give you anything, Rob Parsley and all the rest of y'all, stop sending me emails. So back to this, 1.7 billion people will be killed from wars, riots, foolish, angry people, by foolish, angry people, by the lack of food, the cutting of social programs. See, you trying to vote based on people who are going to keep the social program. I created a program in my ministry that I'm going to implement because I know they're going to cut the social programs. I'm doing this for you, for me, and for everybody else. So if you want to be racist or you want to be a mega church lover and don't want to support the programs that are created by me and by others because we know the social program is going to be cut, then be a dummy then. You got the right to be dumb. That's your right. The inability to afford heat, food, gas, or even bus fare created diseases by these evil people. And with the beasts, as they come down to the cities from where they are. I want to show you something. And I'm going to prophetically say this to you. And like I say, when I give you prophecies, when I give you things the Most High showed me, if it don't come to pass, what did he say? That I spoke presumptuously, right? Well, I'm going to show you. You're going to see more mountain lions. You're going to see more bears. You're going to see more moose. You're going to see more of these dangerous animals coming down to the city as this time gets closer. And as this time comes, because of the lack of food and the extreme weather temperatures, the change in weather temperatures is going to lead them down here and they're going to try to feast on us. Because an animal only thinks about food and sex. That's all he thinks about. So if that's all you think about, then you're no better. Now, I want to show you something else. Did he show me? Tranquilizers in zoos will become scarce. So the zoo will not be able to contain their animals. Let me tell you something. When this time comes, they ain't going to be able to have those mat medicines and vaccines that they use to control those animals. So you can look at them and say, oh, look, little Johnny. Look at him. So that what are they going to do? The animals are going to be escaping. And where are they going to come? Right to the city. You'll see. You think I'm wrong or he's a nigger. He's a nigger. You white racist people, he's a nigger. Yeah, I said it. Because I know that's what some of y'all going to say. Or, oh man, black people. Oh, he don't even look right, man. He ain't even got no suit on. He got a black t-shirt on. All the foolishness that will lead you to reject what I'm saying, not to listen to me. You ain't got to listen to me. You don't have to listen to me. Whatever happens, just happens. If you choose not to listen, that's you. That's your choice. If you choose to be a homosexual, that's your choice. It's wrong, but it's your choice. If you choose to be a lesbian, that's your choice. It's wrong, but it's your choice. And like I said, I don't want none of y'all watching my videos for amusement. Because that's the wrong reason. Now, the Amos the prophet wrote, Seek Yah, and ye shall live. Lest he break out like fire, 
in the house of Joseph to devour, and there be none to quench it at Bethel. Now he also said, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yah. I'm replacing the term the Lord with Yah because everywhere you see Yah or the Lord, it should be Yah. Like hallelujah means praise the Lord. They took the Yahweh out and put the J in there. Again, one of those many things that they do to confuse us. It says, the day of Yah is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. See? The prophet Amos knows. He knew He knew back then. what The Most High showed him back then what he's showing me now. It's going to be complete chaos. Illuminati wants chaos. They're going to get it. They're going to get exactly what they're looking for. Because the Most High hasn't shown itself. They try to replace him. And they're going to get it. They're going to get it. All these groups. Cain is going to be defeated. And all his family. And all the fallen angels. And all those kids that they made with women. Will lose in the end. You can kill as many people as you want. You're going to lose. Because there is a God. And his name is Yah. Besides him. There is no savior. There is no God. There's only one God. The one Messiah. His name is Yahushua. They call him Jesus. And that's what I learned originally. But his name is Yahushua. You either call him Yahushua. Or you call him Yashia. And anything else you call him. You, it's like you calling me Eric. My name ain't Eric. My name is Dave. David. Not Eric. So if you calling him by the wrong name. And you know what his name is. That's disrespect. Moving right along. A lot, to, a lot to cover here. And I know some of y'all, you could sit through a two hour movie and spend practically $10 on popcorn. But when it comes to learning something that's going to help you and your family, you can't do it. Because the devil got you on strings like a puppet. So you can't do it. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. That's how it's going to be. But you go into these churches with these paid off dudes. They're secretly sleeping with boys themselves. Secretly. I, I'm going to show you something. I had a dream. I had a dream. I used to watch the Christian networks all the time. And as I began to grow closer to the Most High, He began to show me things. And one day I had a dream that I don't know where I was, but I was outside walking on some grass. And I'm walking past this big building, this big nice building. And I look in the window, and I see all these preachers, all these big time preachers, on the floor with a circle and candles with their hands, om, om, and they say answer. These same preachers that come to the church, Jesus, Lord, this, that, and the other, they were having seances in private. That dream messed me up so bad that I didn't, I, I just didn't listen to nothing nobody else said without, without researching and studying it for myself after that. I just refused to do it. Because he showed me with that dream, and he's basically showing me, and what I'm telling you, he showed me for you and for myself. Is that a lot of these guys that you think is so close to him. Are, are closer to the devils than they are to him. Now. Bring me to the next thing. Number six. The murdering of all true believers. As those following false religion. And all the unsaved come together. The FEMA camps, International Criminal Court, and all these other things that they're getting ready to behead all the true believers, all that would not fall down and worship this man that's to come. And you wonder, well, we, well why would they behead him? And here's another prophecy the Most High showed. Me. Because when this time comes, electricity, there's going to be issues with electricity. That's going to be one of the excuses. 
glitches, computer glitches, electrical glitches. There's going to be problems with electricity and with energy. So they're going to go back to the old-fashioned way of capital punishment, which is beheading. Hitler used it during the days of Hitler, and during many other days they used these mes methods. So, all the New World Order rejectors will be killed in this way. The old way of punishment, like I said, will return due to those issues that I just was telling you about. Those that will be slain will be slain because of the scripture. Because they're going to say, my God said you shall have no other gods before me. And I'm telling you who he is. His name is Yah. If you want to learn about the way, I'm going to teach you all about the way. Just continue to tune in. I'm going to teach you what the way is. The way is the willingful obedience from the heart. And allowance of the Most High to cleanse you from your ways and cause you to walk in his ways it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle when you enter into that covenant with the most high when you truly enter in, into that covenant with the most high the most high will forgive you give you his law place his laws in your heart and mind the, the proper law the proper meaning of because you got all these people talking about beards and tassels again in the way those things do display and demonstrate a devotion and a worship. But those things, not even pork. Yehoshua already showed us that it goes out of the, the rectum. It goes out of the drop. It can't defile you. But not doing it, that's devotional. That's for devotional reason. That's, that's willing for obedience. That's what the way is. In the way the most high shows you what he wants and he takes a loving attitude towards you no matter what and he allows you to do it his way but he doesn't you, the difference with the way in the way you're not going to go to hell for a sin for a sin because in the way if you follow in his way you're going to live a righteous life perfect I don't know. I seriously doubt it. But righteous? Yes. Because the scripture he said through the, the Apostle James. Pure religion and undefiled before the Most High is this. To visit the fatherless and the widows. Meaning to help people. To help people. Remember John said the same thing. They taught the way. John said if you have this world's good. And shut up your bowels of compassion to your fellow man. How dwelleth the love of God in you? You buying yourself a Bentley. But you got members that's catching the bus. How do I look the love of God in you? Where in the way, they laid their money out for everyone to share. They didn't look at their put. If you want to learn, Acts chapter 4, verse 32 through 37. Now, some of these little fake false prophet preachers are used that to get even more. But that's how they did it during those times. So because of their testimony, because of their refusal, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that's our shadow picture. They refused to bow to Nebuchadnezzar. And it almost cost them their lives. And that fourth man, who was the Messiah, symbolically that fourth man was in there to rescue them. He looked at their commitment and their devotion, and he saved them from them flames. And that's what he'll do to you. That's what he did to me. That's what he'll do to you. If you're not saved and you're willing to devote yourself to the Most High, he'll save you from them flames. Which brings me to the next thing. Again, death is coming for us. All of us who don't die from other things, other reasons, we're going to die for our faith. If you truly belong to him, we're going to die for our faith. It's not going to be any pre-tribulation rapture. That's a false teach. Understand this. Understand this. And I'm going I'm to get into that in future broadcasts. The seventh thing. There will be a great earthquake that will cause gross darkness throughout the world. 
When the sun turns black and the moon turns red, the stars will fall to the earth causing great fires like apples out of a tree. This will cause men, women, and children everywhere to seek shelter. Again, you want chaos, you're going to get chaos. You want to say how the chaos comes order? You're going to get chaos right back on your head. They want chaos so they can look like problem solvers because the enemy is still in his little insecure little effort trying to sit in the most high seat and be most high. Which brings me to the eighth thing. The two witnesses will return and through their ministry another 144,000 people will be saved. Now, understand this. I, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I think a lot of people, Jehovah Witness, for example, I'm going to show you something. And I don't mean this in a bad way. But Caucasian people are not of the 12 tribes. Do your research. But Caucasian people can be saved. If you read Isaiah 56, just because you're not in the 12 tribes, that don't mean that you can't be saved. You can be saved. So, yeah, they, they still can be saved. But the 144,000 people is going to come from those 12 tribes of Israel. A lot of the other people are going to already be there. Already going to be there and got beheaded because they're going to come up under this truth. If they're not already under it and they're going to die for it. Bring me to number nine. Number nine. Mysterious hell with fire and blood will rain upon the earth, causing some of the trees and all green grass to be burned up. Like I said, I know a lot of you, you 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 know you got your little college education, whatever you think you all this, you think you all that, you think you smart. You think this whole book is made up? All I got to say to you is this. We going to see. Okay? We're going to see. you like that talker. you like that bully that can't fight. They talk a good game and hope that his words will make people fear him. And I say to all of you like that, we're going to see. Okay? We're going to see. Now, locusts will bite those who have the mark of the beast and after this all that is in the abyss will return to the earth when this happens men will lose their fear of death here's another prophecy for you I'm going to show you something you wonder why Revelation chapter 9 verse 20 and 21 says that they still wouldn't repent here's why because this anti-messiah this false messiah this clown dude that's going to come is going to basically been and told them so many things that when they see this abyss open and they see all these people that were down there coming back walking around this is going to be some crazy stuff now it's going to make every believer look like a liar and that's going to be one of the reasons I believe they're going to want to kill us and why they're going to kill us so This is going to make them trust this false messiah even more. Now I'm moving right along. And I'm almost done with, with this broadcast. Watch the whole thing. If you can't watch the whole thing. Write down the time. And come back to watch the rest. But I want to just go to. Something found in Revelation 9. Did I mention? 9 verse. It says. And they had a king over them. Which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue his name is, they changed it, to fool you. To fool you. So if this Apollo dude come back, you will believe him. You will believe in him. So they put Apollyon, but it's really talking about Apollo. One wall is past, and behold, there comes two more walls. I'm going to show you something real quick. Something that you, you probably just overlooked and I overlooked. 
This is okay. In the in Rocky, for example, greatest movie of all time, one of the greatest movies of all time, greatest series of all time. I'm not discrediting the movie. But I want to show you something that I noticed. The black man, his name was Apollo, right? This man was 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 overconfident. He's this big dude. He knew how to fight. He backed up his words in the ring. He was arrogant. But he was the champ at first, right? Then here comes this little Caucasian slash Jewish slash Roman Catholic dude named Rocky. Who got a lot of heart. He don't have a lot of skill, but he got a lot of heart. And he will hit you. He can take one. He can dish one out. So he wins the title. Then after he wins the title, he goes through defeating everybody, all his enemies. Defeating Drago and defeating uh, all the rest of them. What I want to show you is this. That reminds me of the big switch that took place. The big switch where now all of a sudden our neighborhoods are called ghettos. Now all of a sudden we're this, we're that. Now all of a sudden our skin is evil. And all these other things that's been switched throughout our generation that weren't that way in the scripture. And then they put it in the movie. Which is what they do. They put their plans and they put the things that they did through history in movies. Right? Why am I mentioning this? Because as I'm reading right here, I'm going to keep reading it and I'm going to show you what I mean. Verse 12, Revelation chapter 9. One woe is past, and behold, there comes two more woes hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of man. This should show you everything that glitters ain't gold. You have to know something. The truth, Yahushua said, will make you free. If you're just going along with what other people are going along with, you're going to be like what I'm finna read. You're going to be amongst these people like what I'm finna read. Verse 14, again, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Now, in the days of Noah, in the days before the days of Noah, they trusted these fallen angels, and they married them and had sex with them, and the end result is everything we see right now. Because they did not obey the Most High. They were subject and left with these fallen angels. They led to their destruction. And what are these angels doing? They, when, when, when the Most High captured all of them, he threw four of them in the river Euphrates for the time appointed. Because see, he still uses them to this day how he chooses. Even though they're not with him, they still have to obey him. And their job is going to be to slay a third part of men. Now verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of Jason and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. See. Again, these fallen angels are deceiving men. Because this army is men. So when these fallen angels are released, they're going to influence these men to do this here. To kill a third part of men. Now this is going to happen after the mark of the beast. And this is going to show people that you might have taken the mark of the, mark of the beast, but you can't trust the beast. He's still going to kill some of them. Now it says... By these three 
was the third part of man killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths for their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt and the rest of men watch this this is how dumb some of y'all is all this stuff was going on and they still didn't repent which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries nor of their fornication nor of their thefts, thefts. nothing is going to get some of these people to repent nothing in the world they still ain't going to repent so, at the sounding of the seventh trump, the Most High Yahweh will return with Yahushua. They're not one. I understand this. Yahushua is the one mentioned in the scripture called the branch. He's going to build the temple of the Most High. He, he's, he's significant. He's not just a man. He's not just like us. He is divine, but he's not equal with the Most High. The Most High is the Most High. Plain and simple. There's one God, and his name is Yah. Aya, he said, I am that I am. Aya Ashar Aya. So don't see so see this is why you can't trust men. Because that whole thing about Jesus being equal with the most high that came in the council of Nicaea. Look it up. Do your research. The Council of Nicaea. N-I-C-E-A. 325 A.D. Constantine Constantine is not God. He cannot make change. The Sabbath is forever, but he changed it. He changed the Sabbath. He changed many things. The world is being ruined by sexual deviancy, lack of accountability to the true God, man's love for evil, and lack of discernment of it, and hatred. For all organized religion, righteousness, and the true church in general. People think this stuff in here is a joke. They think everything is a joke. Everything, hey, he, 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 he. Yeah, we'll see how much you be laughing when this time comes. And you ain't ready for it because you're blinded by devils and by your own sin. So you more than likely, he, the devils is laughing, he, 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 he. They ain't going to be ready. To laugh at that when you be on your back and you see them fallen angels, the spirit of them fallen angels' children taking you to their daddies in hell. Cause see the the, the all this stuff about the devil, you you rebuking Satan. Anybody could be a Satan. Look up the term Satan. There were two hundred fallen angels. And the Bible says they were in chiefs of twenty. They they had like some like 10 ranks of 20. 200 of them. The Most High captured all of them and put them in hell. But their children go back and forth to hell, to the earth, because they're not completely divine and they're not completely human. So what they do is when your soul is lost, when you be the dummy to reject this, and you die, they come get you and take you to their daddies. And you stay right down there with them until the Most High judges you in the end and casts you to the lake of fire. There's another revelation for you. So I'm going to close with this scripture. Close with this. First John. Chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, 
the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. That's where you get this double mind from, which means two-spirited. When you start sinning, you're a believer. It's because you 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 giving in to that worldly that 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 unregenerate nature that is within yourself, battling against the regenerated nature, which is your soul being saved. The spirit is untouchable, but the soul, the mind, will, and the emotions can be touched, and that's where we sin, and that's what we need to work on. Peter said, abstain from the fleshly lust, which war against the soul. And the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Do the will of God, which is to follow his way, which is to love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. You're going to be around. But all of you who, who, who treat this here with contempt, you ain't going to make it. So with that, I'm going to close. For those of you that were affected greatly by this message and you want to be saved, the scripture says, Whosoever shall call on the name of Yah shall be saved. If you're ready to forsake your life and your way, and you're ready to enter into covenant with the Most High, and you believe that there is a God, and you believe that the God of the Bible is God, and you believe what the scripture says, you may not understand everything, and some things have been changed. But he'll still save you based on his mercy. Let's pray together. Repeat this prayer with me. Say, Father Yahweh, I call you Father because I believe that you are God. I believe that you are the Most High. And I call on your name, Yah, to enter into covenant with me. To cleanse me from my sin and my unrighteousness and my uncleanness. To write my name in your book of life. To save my soul from your wrath, from your judgment, and from what's to come. And to teach me and guide me in all your truth and all your way. Destroy everything in me that will keep me from believing in you and from trusting you. And pour out your spirit upon my flesh. Save my soul. This day I accept you, O Most High, Yah, as my God and my Savior. And I accept the work of your Messiah, Yahoshua, who they call Jesus, as for me. So let this prayer be just as I pray. I left out a lot of words that you're used to like amen. There's a lot of reasons for that. I don't have time to cover that. But if you said that prayer because you want your life changed and you believe what I was saying, and you believe in the scripture, you're going to see your life begin to change. Keep reading the scripture. Keep learning this stuff. Learn about the world you live in. The truth shall make you free. This is Prophet David Howard Jr. signing off. Look, watch my videos. Get in contact with me. Send me a message. And I'm going to close with that. I love you all. I want the best for you. But let everybody that stands against the Most High in the Kingdom of God and of Righteousness be crushed. <laughs>